What's going on, family? I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Today, we are going to wrap up the last little things we're going to be doing to put the Corvette away for the uh, for the winter. It's bittersweet, but hey, man, we got to do it. We're not going to be driving in the snow, and we want to make sure that when we get to the spring, we have no reason why we don't just uncover this thing and get on the road. Y'all with me? Let's get it. <laughs> today we're going to focus on the last few things as i mentioned before and that is we uh we got ourselves our mats on the floor our liberty of cutting them in half we're going to put two of those we'll move the bed up a little bit and put two of those uh in position so that they are ready to go so that we can back it up and put it on the car we already have enough air in the, car, in the tire so we good to go there um we are going to Plug in, man, I gotta clean off this desk. This thing just gets so cluttered so quickly. Um, plug in our triple charger and get it going and in position. And we're gonna also be putting our cover on the car. So, the cover. We actually found a cover um, through a Carvet Forum guy that had a, uh, he had two, he had two C7s, he had a, 15, he also had a um, 19, 19 ZR1. Uh, awesome dude. I wish, you know, I didn't feel comfortable recording. I actually went and picked it up from his crib. Um, he sold both those cars. He sold the 15 for the 19 and eventually sold the 19 uh, just recently. Uh, as a matter of fact, he sold it last year. Um, don't want to be one of those guys, man, that don't drive. He, I think he said he had 5,000 miles on the ZR1. And uh, no, he had less than that on the ZR1 and like 5,000 miles on the uh, seat. Uh, he had a Stingray as well. I don't want to be that guy. I'm going to put miles on this thing. Um, but what's really cool, man, and I digress this a little bit. I need to move with this because it's cold. Um, is that he had... Uh, Beautiful white mint condition on a lift in his garage. 69 Camaro. That thing was absolutely beautiful. On rally wheels, be of good rich tires with the white letters. That thing looks so good. Oh my goodness. One of my favorite cars. One of my absolute favorite, all, all time favorite. Hard to get cars, of course, especially in the condition that his car was in. That thing was actually immaculate, right? So, all right, we have a few things to do. Again, like I said, we're gonna get these mats under the tires. We are going to get some decadent packs from out of the uh, out of the house and throw those in the car. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put the trickle charger on and then we're gonna cover the car, man, and call it a day. And boy, let me tell you, Look how clean this thing is. That's stunner butter, man. Y'all need to get y'all some stunner butter. Man, it's that stunner butter, baby. Sheesh. Y'all better get y'all some stunner butter, man. Y'all missing it. Y'all, man, I'm just saying. I don't know what y'all doing, man. Y'all need to get y'all some stunner butter, man. Oh, Lord, Lord. All right, man. All right, man. Enough of that. We gonna... Uh, gonna get at it so first i'm gonna set this camera so we can start moving man and doing some of the stuff that i said we need to do um because first we're gonna have to move the car up oh y'all get to get a little cool start make sure we got everything in frame uh, 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 yeah we need to get that garage door open
got the charger plugged in. Now we're gonna get some of the desiccant pad packs. And we're gonna just throw them in the back, in the center of the vehicle, so that if there's any moisture or anything left by. So these are the packs that the packs that we're using. Um, I actually got these. These are the packs that we're using. I actually got these for something else, and didn't think, you know, that it was even important to go back and get any other ones. So we're gonna use what we got. Got to charge the charger phone, so gotta get a little juice on this thing so that we uh, don't lose. guys. Apologize for the delay. There we go. We're back in business. Yup. Alright, so let's put some of these packs in there. So I guys, I couldn't feel my fingers, man. That's why this thing kept dropping. All I'm gonna do is just take a bunch of these. And put it in the back of the, the, the vehicle. it guys this should be quick shouldn't be a super long video but uh it wraps up the series of how to store your vehicle um be it whatever kind of car you have if it's something i didn't store the 300 like this but i would have if i had known better and it isn't it's only because i got this one and i went a little bit deeper with the research right so hey man when you know better you do better ah <sighs> We do better because we don't do the normal. No, man, that's not how we design. What? Talk, speaking of design, you know why we don't do the normal? <laughs> Bro, we were designed from greatness. Because you were designed from greatness. You had the authority, the responsibility, the duty to not be average, guys. So, hey, <laughs> don't be average.